Hey, this is Sam Black with my first match with uh, this green-white Marvel deck in standard. Um, I'm just going to let this go for a second. All right, well, actually, so uh, this is my opening hand. Um, I think it's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, Vessel is extremely important to this deck um, since it's kind of the make-or-break card for Ishkana, and I have a uh, Servant so it's very likely that I'm going to be able to play Gideon on turn 3, which um, the ability to do that is one of the big selling points of uh, this deck and color combination. So really, really good hand here. Um, and so my first draw was Evolving Wilds, um, which creates an interesting decision um, between Evolving Wilds and Vessel of Nascency. Um, the especially given that my opponent played Prairie Stream. So the big advantage to playing Evolving Wilds is that um, it ensures that I can cast turn 3 Gideon. Um, I play Evolving Wilds, uh, then I sacrifice it, play Servant, and I have two more lands to get me my three untapped lands uh, to cast Gideon. Um, the problem is uh, I'm playing against blue-white, so if they pass with uh, three mana up, then I'm playing Gideon into Spell Queller. However, since I have Stasis Snare, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't matter if I get my Gideon Spell Queller, really, because I can just Stasis Snare the Spell Queller the next turn and get my Gideon back, in theory. Um, so, uh, that's why I played the Evolving Wilds. The argument for playing Vessel is um, basically just that it resolves the Vessel. Um, but uh, I do think that um, in this spot, uh, the most important thing is to make sure that I can execute my fundamental game plan in this game, which is resolving Gideon as soon as possible. So, lead with Evolving Wilds. Also, um, waiting on Vessel is fine just in general, um, because it's kind of better to use Vessel late, because the later you Vessel the more information you have about what cards you've already drawn, so the more you need about what you, the more you know about what card you need for the situation. Um, so I'm not necessarily in a hurry to get to the point where I can use it as soon as possible. Um, so this is pretty straightforward. Opponent plays Selfless Spirit. I'm going to play Servant. Attacked, I draw Ishkana, and I don't like my line here. Um, I play a tune with Aether. Um, I probably got scared off by the Spell Queller, but as I mentioned, I have Stasis Snare for it. Um, I think I should have just played the land and played Gideon. Um, I guess the other issue with playing Gideon is... I guess my opponent has this uh, Selfless Spirit, so my opponent could even let Gideon resolve, even if they have a Spell Queller, and then play Spell, uh, play spell Queller and just attack and kill Gideon. Um, and then all I've gotten is a 2-2, two -two. so I think, I think that's actually why I didn't play Gideon, and I guess that makes some sense. So the plan is to, especially because I drew Ishkana, wait to play Gideon until I have a better board for it, and then use... Uh, attune with Aether and Vessel to set up a Delirium Dishkana before playing Gideon. Um, so, never mind, I take it back. I think that's a reasonable line. Um, so that's what I do. Um, cast the Attune, get a Forest, use the Forest to play Vessel. Uh, my opponent spell colors the Vessel. Um, and then I uh, play a Servant and pass. And so now, um, there are a lot of reasonable options available to me. Uh, I could play Gideon uh, into four power, flying power, but then I could just immediately make an emblem with it, um, make these things three threes, and get a third type in my graveyard. Um, and I could just immediately attack and start racing, put my opponent down to 14, and my opponent has 
uh, four power to my six power if all that goes according to plan. Um, or I could uh, just play Ishkana to have a flying blocker and resolve a high impact thing that can't get spell quellered. Um, or I could play Smuggler's Copter uh, with Stasis Snare up so that I play Spell Queller if my opponent, or I play Copter if my opponent has Spell Queller, I can snare the Spell Queller. Then I have the Copter to stop my opponent from blocking. And Copter can uh, both let me get Delirium for Ishkana and protect Gideon to let me get that going. Um, so I think. Um, any of those lines are defensible. Um, I think I prefer the ones that get me a flying blocker over uh, playing Gideon. Um, but I um, yeah, could see going either way. I think that um, because I have two card types in my graveyard already, um, I'm pretty close to um, having Delirium on Ishkana, and Delirium on Ishkana is just so huge in this matchup that um, and Smuggler's Copter goes a long way toward actually getting me there. Um, so I think it's reasonable to uh, try to hold that and um, just play a small game and then save this as a game breaker rather than uh, using this to hold the fort and then trying to um, use Gideon as my big play. Um, this way I get to try to turn this into a big play and then this into a, you know, follow-up extra big play. Um, so anyway, I play Smuggler's Copter, my opponent spell quellers it, and I snare the spell queller. Um, I don't want to get spell quellered again and not get the snare um, and take a bunch of damage. So I just get the smuggler's capture in play now. My opponent plays a copter and another selfless spirit and clearly doesn't have any attacks. And here, um, I think at this point uh, it's pretty reasonable to just cast the Ishkana. Um, my opponent only has two cards in hand and um, they kind of have a lot of uh, pressure in play. Um, if they have like a stasis snare for my smuggler's copter then um, I'm really facing down way too much damage. Um, it would be nice to be able to cast Ishkana with Delirium, but um, I think it's better to, it's probably better to just uh, try to hold up, hold the fort here, um, and then lean on the Gideon and uh, just powerful cards in my deck. Um, I have uh, four energy, so um, if I find Marvel, I'm not that far from uh, casting it just by getting two things to go to the graveyard. But um, the play that I actually make is to just play the Gideon and make an emblem so that uh, my copter is bigger than my opponent's and then try to just hold off all of my opponent's attacks with the smuggler's copter, which I think is unnecessarily disrespectful of the possibility of my opponent having a removal spell for it. Um, so my opponent plays a card that I wasn't really expecting and always watching, uh, but the emblem that I've made helps my situation a lot here. Uh, it means that my smuggler's copter is still holding off my opponent's creatures. And then my opponent animates smuggler's copter and attacks with just that, which is actually perfect for me because it gives me an opportunity to cleanly turn on delirium. Um, so kind of rewarding me for this line that I took that might not have been right. And now my opponent's down to one card. 
and I can attune to go up to six energy and play Ashkana. But unfortunately, my opponent has Abyssin, which um, can kill all of my creatures except for Ishkana, and I can't do anything about it. So that happens. I go to 11. I lose all my things. I draw Emrakul, which doesn't help. I have five card types and five lands, um, so I need three more card types and lands. Um, Vessel gives me a card type, so now I'm at six, and um, here I could take a land, which would put me up to uh, six lands and six card types, so if I draw another land I can play Emrakul, or I could take a uh, well, Smuggler's Copter or Marvel. Um, Copter doesn't really give me more blockers because I only have Ishkana to activate it. And um, Marvel is kind of just hoping to hit Nemercal, but I already have a Nemercal in my hand. Um, and uh, I've now used um, one of my six energies, so I'm down to five. So I would need to try to get an energy from somewhere. Um, potentially like blocking with the Ishkana, but um, it could still just miss uh, and would a pretty high portion of the time. Um, so I just take the Aether Hub that'll give me my sixth energy and uh, get me one land away from casting Emrakul. And my opponent just attacks with Avacyn. And I'm just going to take it and go to four. And unfortunately, I don't draw a land for Emrakul. And I play Vessel. And just pass with the Vessel. My opponent snares Ishkana. So now... I am dead unless I hit Stasis Snare for my opponent's Abyssin, and I don't. Um, so, uh, I die. Um, and then the second game. go first. That hand was nowhere near keepable. It had just a planes. So I mulligan into this, which uh, is a fine six card hand. It doesn't really do anything, but I have answers, which is a good place to be in this matchup. Um, in general, I have powerful late game, and um, so I'm fine just having some setup and ability to get there. Uh, Smuggler's Copter on top. Not a great draw because I don't have any creatures, and I'm pretty committed to shuffling on turn one anyway. I'd like to use this Evolving Wilds or Attune with Aether. Um, so I just play the Evolving Wilds, sacrifice it, draw Gideon, cast a tune. a servant which um, punishes me for getting a plains rather than a forest. Um, I got the plains because I have two double white cards um, so I'm gonna I want to be able to cast both of them and with Aether Hub I can only cast one of them or I need to use more energy to cast both of them. Um, so I guess it was still better to get the planes than getting the forest, but the result here, because I need to use two green this turn, is that I have to spend the energy from the Aether Hub to naturalize the Smuggler's Copter, 
which I do now because I don't want it to get spell quellered or countered in any other way, negate or what have you. Um, and then my opponent just passes and now I'm in a spot where I can play Gideon and my opponent doesn't have any flying pressure at the moment. Um, it gets negated. I was hoping it would get spell quellered so that I could get it back with stasis snare. I didn't really expect it to resolve. Um, when this deck passes with three mana up, they're probably planning to do something. Uh, but um, stasis snare made running Gideon out there very attractive, but unfortunately it got negated. So now I'm just going to trade two for one. Uh, not cards, but damage. And don't have a lot going on, but my opponent doesn't either, and I have answers to their next two threats, so I'm fine just racing my two power against my opponent's one power for a while. Now I'm gonna double my clock with another sweet grizzly bear. And my opponent plays Avacyn. Obviously I can just snare it. No reason to wait on that. Due to counter spells, of course. And I'm just gonna keep attacking. Play a Thrabin Inspector. And my opponent at this point just uses a snare on a servant because I've I'm at, they just are under a decent amount of pressure. Um, here my opponent passes, and um, I should obviously sacrifice my clue here, but I just misclicked past it. Um, and now I don't have enough mana to play both of these, um, which is annoying. Um, and I also don't have enough mana to play rock and sacrifice the clue. Um, so, very frustrating that I didn't uh, sack the clue the previous turn. Um, there's a good chance that I should just play the rock anyway, but I figured things are going fine for me. I can just keep sitting here with the snare and the clue and just play the rock later. Um, my opponent does have a bunch of cards. I don't think it's likely to... Um, actually stick it into the game immediately or anything, so I can just wait. Um, and my opponent plays Selfless Spirit, which doesn't really change anything. I sack the clue. And play Rock, but my opponent has Spell Shrivel, um, which I'm one mana short of paying for. Wasn't really something I was thinking about. Uh, so I just trade there and figure we can just hang out and I draw Ishkana. Um, I have five card types so I just cast it and my opponent doesn't have a counter spell so now I can attack with everything and if my opponent doesn't have anything uh, I can use Aether Hub to activate Ishkana for 4 damage, plus the at least 4 damage that it's getting through here, so I'm attacking for lethal. Um, my opponent has Stasis Snare for Ishkana, so I just activate it in response to put my opponent at 4 so that a block puts them at 1. Figure that's better than casting Smuggler's Copter this turn. And that's the game. And the third game, um, so I'm on the draw here with this opening hand. Um, Fortified Village is an untapped land, so I can play Vessel on turn one, activate it on turn two. Um, that can probably find me another land, and then I have a uh, tracker and some snares and a Gideon, so seems like a pretty good draw. Uh, tracker is in. My sideboard plan uh, was to um, just move away from uh, Marvel. Um, I think it's hard to actually resolve Marvel against uh, Blue-White, so I just uh, dropped that in Emrakul um, for more early plays in Tireless Tracker. Um, 
since they're not super great at dealing with it. So play village, and given that all I really want here is um, a land, I play a tune to get it, um, which might actually be wrong uh, because it's much less mana efficient. Um, playing Vessel on turn one gives me a two mana play on turn two of activating the Vessel. Um, but on the other hand, if I play the Vessel on turn one, I'm kind of locking myself into getting a land with it um, on turn two. Uh, and when I have a tune, there's a good chance that I'll just have more lands than I need, and Vessel can let me get something other than a land later. So it's actually a really interesting question about which one of them is better to play first. Um, and I'm genuinely not sure of the answer there. Um, but anyway, I went with the Attune. And now I play the Vessel. Get hit by a Selfless Spirit. Draw another Attune, which I play. Um, I kind of like not... Uh, I could play Stasis Snare or Tireless Tracker here, but I kind of like not doing anything worth countering into my opponent's 3 mana. Um, my opponent does end up just wasting that 3 mana. I take 2 more. My opponent taps up for Gideon. So now I'm fairly appreciably behind. Uh, my opponent has Gideon and two creatures and I have nothing. Um, so obviously if I play Gideon here, my opponent just animates Gideon and attacks it. And uh, Even if I block Gideon with the token, the other two kill Gideon. So Gideon's horrible here. So I play Tireless Tracker and a land. Make a clue. My opponent declarations the tracker, animates Gideon and hits me for a lot. Um, so now I'm facing down uh, lethal, um, so it's not looking great, um, but I draw Ishkana, and I have four card types, so I just cast that, and hope my opponent doesn't have rebuff, and they don't. So now I have Ishkana, my opponent activates Gideon, and attacks with it, and I can just jump off with a spider. And um, now we see if that can turn things around. So I'm going to play Tireless Tracker and a land. And now I have Stasis Snare up and Tracker going again. And um, these spiders uh, do what I need on defense. So I'm going to attack uh, Gideon with Ishkana. Uh, my opponent decides that Gideon has plenty of loyalty and just takes it. And then my opponent snares my tracker, animates Gideon, attacks with Gideon and the knight, and I'm going to try to snare Gideon, but my opponent has negate, so I just jump block Gideon, and then my opponent has a copter. Um, so now I'm facing a lot of attackers, and I'm down to not a lot of blockers. So I'm going to play a Gideon and uh, make a knight. Um, I could emblem here, but um, the spider being a 2-3 instead of a 1-2 doesn't really accomplish much. It's still smaller than Copter, and uh, trading with Selfless Spirit is about as good as uh, killing the Selfless Spirit. Um, and the extra toughness on Ishkana would let it block Gideon, but um, I can just chump block Gideon with the Knight, and Ishkana is already holding off the Copter. Um, so I just make a Knight. Um, and uh, between the spider, Ishkana, and another stasis snare, I'm not actually that worried about my opponent getting through here. And I'm really trying to f figure out turning the game around and actively winning. And having the extra creature in play once I start making emblems can be a pretty big deal. 
So my opponent does try to attack here, and I should have let them attack before casting Stasis Snare, but that's not what happened. I just cast it at the beginning of combat. Um, but it didn't change anything as my opponent ended up attacking with both creatures anyway. So I just block in the obvious way, and my opponent has Avacyn, which just kills my knight ally. I'm not really that worried about it. But my opponent does have a selfless spirit in play, so they can use Av Flip Avacyn to kill my spider and hurt my Gideon. But really that was just trading a selfless spirit for a spider and getting some damage on Gideon. Um, but it happened, I assume, to flip the Avacyn so that um, my opponent would have a creature big enough to get through Ishkana. So I'm at 5, so this Avacyn is lethal, and, um, oh, sorry, they do not actually damage Gideon, um, because uh, if they have any creature, they now have two lethal flyers, and I only have one flying blocker, um, so th that was what flipping this Avacyn is accomplishing, it was uh, putting me at 2 against two flyers that have at least 2 power um, to try to just kill me here. Um, so uh, I need to find an answer. Fortunately, I have three clues, so those start getting to work. That one doesn't do it. And then I find a copter, and copter gives me a second flying blocker, so uh, I'm going to play it and make an emblem and play inspector. Um, the um, emblem doesn't... I'm not sure that I needed to make an emblem there, um, because Avacyn's still bigger than Ishkana, um, and so that means Ishkana is mostly looking to block the copter, um, and the copter is going to be smaller than the Avacyn anyway, so it's not actually changing combat immediately. So I th think I probably should have just made a knight there. Um, the other relevant point is if my opponent attacks with just Avacyn and I'm double blocking, uh, even without the emblem, um, I'm a double block functionally trades Ishkana for Avacyn. So probably a mistake to make the emblem there. Here my opponent plays Gideon and makes a knight. Um, I guess it's worth noting if I hadn't made the emblem, yeah, nothing's different there if my opponent emblems. Yeah, it would just be better to have the knight, I th the knight and Gideon in play. I think um, the knight uh, gives them a creature to animate Smuggler's Copter, but they don't like the attacks here. It basically just trades copters and taps Avacyn, which let, would let me potentially attack Gideon. It also lets me loot. Um, lets them loot too, but if they know that they have a good card, um, then that's not desirable. So I draw a land. I'm just going to sack another clue, draw another Gideon, play a Gideon, make a knight. Pass. Um, the knight is needed for defense against Gideon, but my opponent makes an emblem here, and then plays another Gideon, and makes another emblem, and now makes a giant copter and attacks with both, but the emblem didn't really accomplish that much, it just means that um, the copter lives through my block, which is a big deal. It um, means that I need to make something happen here. Um, so I'm going to animate copter, or sack clue first rather, then animate copter, 
and now uh, just misclick my blocks, then fix it. Um, so I'm chumping with copter and uh, blocking the other copter, and I draw a natural state. Um, so natural state uh, can kill my opponent's copter, um, and means that I'm just fighting Avacyn, but uh, Avacyn is still beating me. Um, however, um, doing some uh, combat math here, um, the other thing that Natural State can do is kill Stasis Snare. Um, and I realize that uh, with the Tireless Tracker, um, I have exactly um, 6 plus 3, er, yeah, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, uh, plus 8 from these is 19, um, and then I can activate the Ishkana for the 20th point, and I can actually just attack for lethal here uh, because of natural state on Stasis Snare, which is the play that I execute. Um, and of course, since my opponent only has a Prairie Stream untapped, that works, and I managed to win this game. Um, it's a really close, interesting game. Um, a lot of interesting decision points. I think my biggest mistake was uh, preemptively uh, making the emblem with Gideon, which I just should have had another knight in play functionally. I think the rest of the game plays out the same, except I have an extra knight, which um, I think actually ends up not changing anything. I don't think it lets combat go differently until this last turn when I have lethal. Um, but uh, it was still definitely wrong the way that I played it. Um, so anyway, that was the match.